I would like to ask you, sir, as in your talk you have said that Osama Bin Laden, we can't consider him as a terrorist, as it is said in BBC and CNN channels. But at the same time, we get the same information about the bomb blast and the count which we get about the bomb blast on the same channels. So whether it has to be believed or no. Thank you, sir. The sisters asked a very good question, very relevant question. I said that when we talk about Osama Bin Laden, that if you get information of BBC that he's a terrorist, we don't have to believe. But when we get the count of the bomb blast, do we have to believe? That's what I said, the people controlling. That doesn't mean all the news of BBC is wrong. That news in which they make a hero into a villain, in which they'll benefit, you have to check up. So here when we see that these normally bomb blast figures that you get, most of them that you find will be somewhat similar. If it's a government channel, of the country in which the bomb blasts have taken place, the figure will be normally no. Why? Because the government wants to show that less people have been killed. Like the police commission wrote to me, 187 people killed. Newspaper writes 207. I don't know who's right. I'm not saying that Commissioner A. N. Roy is lying. I'm not saying that. Please don't get me wrong. So here we have to realize that when we get information, we have to see the proof. When we see the proof about Osama bin Laden, even on the channel, it is mentioned prime suspect sister. Prime suspect. Prime suspect. Do you know, if you go to the website of the US Department of Justice, Info Police, they give the list of the terrorist organizations. Terrorist organizations. 43, 60% are Muslim. Can you guess which is the most popular terrorist organization? Can you guess Muslim terrorist organization? Can you guess? No, sorry. Which is the most popular Muslim terrorist organization? Al-Qaeda. Al you don't get a prize for that, very easy. <laughs> Al-Qaeda. According to the US Department, you know how many attacks? How many attacks? Ulfa, 749 attacks. Al-Qaeda, only 28. Out of that, 26 alleged, 2 Al-Qaeda claims they did it. According to the site of US Department of Justice, Al-Qaeda claims, all alleged, not a single proved. Even on the official site of US Department of Justice, not a single attack of Al-Qaeda has been proved. I'm not here to support Al-Qaeda. You know, when Yohan Redley went to Afghanistan, she was arrested by the Taliban. She comes back and she's asked the question, what are views about Al-Qaeda? She replies, I doubt whether Al-Qaeda exists. <laughs> so sister, what I'm trying to tell you, that when we get the information, if you are a man of the media or a person of the media, you can realize and you know that this information mostly will be correct. This has to be checked up. So what we have to realize that it is suspect. Prime suspect, prime suspect. Even on CNN and BBC, even though they say it's a prime suspect, they're treating him as though he's a culprit. Can you go and kill thousands of Afghans only because of a prime suspect? Not even proved. So, but natural sister, when we hear the news, we have to realize that who controls the news, what is the agenda behind, and then we have to be careful what news you take and what you quote. Hope that answers the question, sister.